when I first install Adobe Premiere Pro, I will do three things on it. The first one is to set up my watch space for Premiere Pro. And the second thing is to set up the socket keyboard for Premiere Pro. And the last thing to do is to change the location for the cache file for Premiere Pro. I will tell you why and how I do that in here. For the first one, set up my watch space in Premiere Pro. In here, this is the screen, this is the watch space for Premiere Pro. In here, we have to choose the panel in different locations in here so we can arrange them like this so we can put on, on a location that we, we want get and arrange the size like this in here so we can make it like this. And in here, this is the watch space that we have and the panel we have. We have many panel. Many panel in here, different panel have different features. So when you need to use that, so you can open it. For example, in here, the panel that have been opened with the chat mark and the panel, I want to open it so I can click it. And this will open my panel and I can arrange them, of course, put on different location that I want to do that in here. On, on the top, on here, so you can do that on the bottom in here so you can arrange that anywhere you want it and you can use it and after using it you can close it this is the way we do it in Pimipo and the watch space in here that we can save it save the watch space save the panel the panel and the location that you arrange on your screen in here and from Pimipo they have the watch space in here this is the watch space come with Pimipo and I have three watch space that I save it for my own use in here and let's talk about the watch space in here for example in here the first one all panels in here like this the watch space that they have they almost put a lot of panel they have been opened like this most of the panel have been opened and put up on the screen here they put it on many locations like this that can be a lot and mess up in here so and the watch space let's talk about something like the table in here this is my watch space and I have my laptop my second monitor my keyboard my mouse and also I have my printer scanner something and I don't put that all on my table in here when I need to print something so I can bring my printer in here when I need to do some scanning so I can bring my scanner in here and when I finish using them so I can bring it put them back under my table something like this so I don't put everything on a table when I need it, I put it in here. And same thing on Pimi Pong for the first watch space in here. Can be a lot in here. So that can be messed up in here. That's crazy. And in here, they have the audio watch space in here. So you can select for audio editing. So you can click it. So this is the watch space in here. So you have the timeline, you have the program panel, you have the essential song in here, you have the audio clip mixer, audio track mixer in here. So they are designed for audio editing. Yeah. And also they have many, many things on here. For example, the source clip, uh, I don't need that in here for here. So many things in here. Even here, this is the watch space selection in here. This is the watch space that you can select from here. Yeah, that's crazy. They put it on the top in here. Take some space. You can just select it from here. Why they put it in here? Yeah, you can close that so you can have more space. Yeah, in here, we have some many for, for example, position. This uh, was space for position, so this so uh, some kind of purpose and for color collection, so you can select the what space from here. Yeah, from here you have the limitry color, the panel in here, so you can do the color collection for your video, and in here so you can arrange them, of course. So the clip that you, the panel that you don't need it, so you can close it in here, like this, and this the what space come with. And we can reset the watch space and reset as they are in here. And in here, we can save it, save our own watch space. For example, for me, I save three watch space. The first one in here, this is the journal proposed in here, Young, that's my name. And Young watch space in here, so I can select my own watch space in here. From here, I can see. And this is the project panel. Project panel, this I import all the material, video, audio, song, music, and also I can create some 
material from here from the project panel here and then I can assemble that into the timeline here and when I need to do some effect for example apply some effect for the audio and video so I can go to the effects panel here so I can open them this is the effect for the video and also for the audio the effect they have many in here and also the audio and video transition so we can apply on on the clip on the timeline here and after we apply that so we can do some effect control so in the effect control panel here so we can do some for example I have in here I apply the Gaussian blue on the clip in here at the beginning in the beginning in here so we can see this Gaussian blue so blew out the video so we can take care of the control for the effect and also do some key phase for making transition for the effect in here and also in here this is the program panel all the way on here so program panel they will show you the the current type indicator in here the frame appear on the timeline here so we can take a look on here and the timeline we say that the timeline all you do on the timeline here there's the table that you do that and for your sequence and the tools in here and the tools in here they have the many the shortcut keyboard keyboard shortcut so you can memorize so you don't need to put the tools on here but I just put in here and in here I have the UV meter the UV meter to monitor the audio level like this they can show you the audio level how high how low on here for the audio yeah so this my general purpose was based when I working in PME Pro so I can arrange that and I can save it save it as the my own use and also for the color collection for example for this video I go to here click on here this is the workspace space for color collection for my own use in here I have my timeline here I have my program panel here so in here I can select and I do color collection on the limited color panels in here and we can do many things on here for the color collection in here and also the effects control panel in here in here I don't have the project panel I don't have the choose panel I don't have the UV meter yeah this is all I need for color collection for color collection for the video so I can save it for color in here so I can save it as young color for color collection and in here I have another workspace called multicam in here in here that's quite simple for multicam when I do video for three three camera more than three camera I do the rock cut in multicam in this workspace in here just the program panel and the Tyler panel only just two panel for the multi multicam editing in here so we can talk about multicam editing later yeah this is the workspace for multicam so I can save it quite simple just two panel in here and I can save it like this yeah for any purpose when you're working on PME post for example you can do arrange your own workspace you don't need to follow me follow me the workspace as they are in here but if you want to go with me do the video editing so you can set up your workspace something like this so you can easily to follow for the tutorial and in here so you can save it for example we can do we can go to uh, for example assembly in here oh that's the one I have changed previously I can reset it okay this is the workspace for assembly so that will be the same as in your computer so in here you can adjust them like this in here I can adjust arrange them close them close them yeah, close this yeah I can close this and this the workspace selection of course I close it yeah okay and also let me take a look yeah I need the effect control panel yeah effect control panel I put it on here and I can arrange the size in here the UV meter I don't need a big UV meter like this <laughs> okay so we can adjust the size in here and quite little that will be fine and also I need the effects panel in here so I can bring it put it in the same in here oh, okay let me arrange them in here I can move it 
in here the second one in here and so we have the wall space about this let me adjust the size and in here yeah this is about my journal proposed wall space so I can save it and save as a new one in here so I can put a name for example my wall space something like this so I can click OK so this will save it in here so I have my wall space in here and somehow when you're doing on uh, yeah I don't need the source panel in here so I can close it yeah I can yeah I can save the change to this wall space in here so I can save the change yeah and in here when we work on pimipo sometimes when we need for example we yeah audio mixer the track mixer so we can arrange them and any panel that we, we want so we can open and put on the screen in here and we can save it as another one if you want it for example we can yeah we can bring some more the audio clip mixer in here I can put it into here into here and I will save it as another one for audio yeah I can save it another one in here that's uh, my audio yeah my audio editing yeah something like this so you can save some more work space for you when you use it and journal propose and audio editing in here so you can use it in here and yeah this is the way we can use it the workspace and if you want of course like this one in here I have my color my journal propose and multicam in here and for this one I don't need this one so I can delete them and let me delete them yeah in here so I can go to edit workspace in here so I can click it and select the workspace that I want to delete it for example this one my WS so I can delete it and also in here I delete my my audio was based in here so I can still delete this at the same time in here so I leaving the three workspace space that I use the most often so I can click OK like this in here so I can delete the workspace space that you don't want yet and let's talk about this one this import the workspace space from your project file yeah the project file and this is the project file in here yeah for example this project file this project has been saved from another computer on that, another computer uh, on there I have the workspace on that computer and save this file on there and I can bring this file open it into my computer in here and I can select the option in here import workspace from the project file so when I select in here and they will appear the workspace in here from that computer you can restart pimipo they can appear on here so you, you don't need to lead arrange your workspace and save it again on this computer so you can save it from that computer to here so you can use the feature in here to import the workspace from the project file save from that computer into here so you can use it in here like this yeah this is the way we can use workspace in pimipo in here